If you have some spaces in your house or maybe even in your car that could just use a little bit of freshening up, you're not going to want to miss this project today. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Haley and on this channel we do all kinds of DIYs featuring lots of flowers and other natural materials. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you do so and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any projects that I post. Alright, so for today's project, we're going to be making some really simple and easy clay diffusers. These can be used with essential oils, and it's just um, some air dry clay that we'll be using. Once it's all the way hardened and dried, you can just pour essential oils on and it slowly diffuses them and they evaporate into the air. So it's a super great natural way to scent your space and just a really fun and easy project. So I'm going to show you the materials and then we will get started making them. Okay, so the first thing I have here is some air dry clay. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was $11 and the color is white. It's actually more of a gray, but they do have another one. I know they had terracotta color and they might have some other colors as well. So it's kind of just up to you what color you want. And keep in mind, after this is done, you could paint the front if you really wanted to. So that's the air dry clay. In other materials you will want, I have a bowl of water, a piece of parchment paper to protect my desk. I have just some twine that we're going to be using to hang it. You could use ribbon or some other kind of nice string that you would like to hang it with. I have a pair of scissors right here and some essential oils. This is lime. I love the citrus scents. You can use whatever essential oil you prefer. And then I also just have some little shapes that I'm going to be using to make, uh, to use as kind of like a cookie cutter for my clay. These are actually my kids' little um, <laughs> clay things that they had, and this one too. So you don't have to use shapes if you don't want to. You could use a glass and just use the rim to make your shape. Um, you could just use your hands. You don't need anything fancy for this, but those are the shapes I will be making today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you will want to do is grab a good piece of clay and I'm just gonna start flattening this out. I don't have a rolling pin or anything, so it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm just gonna get a nice big shape. And I'm gonna be making it about like half an inch or so thick, between a quarter and half, I should say. Once it's pretty flat, I'm just gonna take some water and this will just help to smooth it out. You could use a rolling pin if you have one or like a wooden dowel or something else. Even a cup would work for this. So once you have your flat-ish piece, you can go ahead and take your cutters and just go ahead and start making your shapes. There's one, and if you have trouble with it getting stuck in here, you can always fold your piece of parchment paper over like this, and then you can just um, go through it. That will just make kind of a barrier so that your cookie cutter doesn't get stuck with the clay inside of it. Going to do one more. Let's see if I can fit that one. Should fit right there. And kind of just smooth out the sides or if you have like an exacto knife you could cut them off those edges it's not too big of a deal though oh I forgot to mention this earlier but you're also going to want to want something that you can make a hole with 
So I'm just using this paintbrush and I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole in each one. Kind of dip it in the water first to make it go smoother. Thank you. As soon as you have the shapes you want, you can just sit them aside and let them dry. Usually I wait about 24 hours and they should be completely dry by then. And then I'm going to show you with this one that I have already put together. I just kind of imprinted some lavender on here. So you could do that if you wanted. You could paint it in, you could paint the whole front. Um, you could really do whatever you can think of. So now I'm just going to add the little string through this hole. Then you can flip it over and on the back you can put your essential oils. And then you can hang it up wherever you want to. Super simple. All right, I hope you guys love this project as much as I do. Anything that uses essential oils instead of those commercially produced fragrances, I am all for it. So I'm going to put one of these in my car and you can use whatever essential oils you want. It's a super great, quick, simple and cheap alternative to the mainstream air fresheners and things like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, as always, leave those down in the comment section below and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.